so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of SolidWorks. Uh, I'm going to design uh, oil filter housing for the JZ. Uh, I'll probably just run a time lapse. Well, maybe not a time lapse, but uh, some music because I'll just record it off of uh, my computer and then I'll just put it in the video. And then after I'm done designing it, I'll do a time lapse of the like it, 3D printing. We'll see how long my camera lasts. I'll try to charge it, uh, but it seems like it dies pretty quick because it'll probably take like an hour, or two hours to print. filter housing. Now let's see if I can get it off the build plate without it breaking or doing something weird. Okay, so you can see in my first design, I kind of complicated it, but this is a lot more simplified. So it has the stock O-ring groove. It has an um, inlet for the uh, for a 10 an and then the outlet that goes into the bearings from the uh, filtered oil right here is uh, just gonna be the bolt. So you just use a stock crush washer, uh, that aluminum washer and this will be 6061, so you use an aluminum washer and uh, it'll come with a 10 an uh, bolt. So it's uh, actually not too bad. All right, just about to go to the shop. I finished through you printing that part and I'm gonna go test it out on the Jay-Z. Have the VR4 back in the garage. Uh, my grandma's gonna have some cement done, so I parked in here just so it's out of the way. But uh, yeah, let's see if this stuff works. I brought the three printer part and uh, you know, I stuck the O-ring, the factory O-ring in there for the filter housing. And now I'm gonna pull the bolt out of that. The one bad thing is I can't tighten it um, all the way down. I'm gonna take that bolt home tonight so I can figure out the thread pitch. And once I do that, I'm going to finish the design of the bolt that I'm making. I may change the design of this just a little bit to make it more compact. It doesn't really need to be as tall as it is. I can make it a little bit more compact and a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit better. I, I might not make this just a flat um, flange coming out. I might actually make it uh, a little bit uh, like a lip and then uh, a loft, but 
Yeah, I definitely need to figure out what thread pitch that bolt is right on here holding the, the filter housing on and uh, figure out how far it extends into the block because the bolts I want to make, uh, it'll be stainless, but I want to make sure it's, ex it's uh, fully seated in the bore, uh, just like the factory one. So uh, all I have to do is measure the protrusion uh, from the bottom of the filter housing. So um, all this is gonna do is the bolt's gonna be on here, but it's gonna have a dash 10 coming off of the bolt. Uh, I guess you guys will see when the bolt's made and then it just has a dash 10 coming out right there. So not really a big deal, but uh, it replaces all that stuff and makes it so I could uh, run a, a nice uh, thermostated uh, oil filter block and not have to worry about my oil being too cold or too hot. So I'm gonna throw that on really quick. Okay, I got some light on this situation. So uh, yeah, the O-ring fits in there very nicely and uh, it's pretty much just gonna go on there exactly like so. And uh, like so. But I just need to uh, make one now. So the great thing about that is you can clock it whichever way you want. I'm gonna run AC, so I'm gonna have to clock it like this. But if you don't run AC, you can clock it like that. I was gonna put an oil pressure sensor in it, but since the oil pressure sensor is right here, already in the block, it really doesn't matter. These lines can be deleted. That line can be deleted. I could just loop them or whatever if I want. And uh, yeah, go from there. I mean, that's a lot better option. I just need to figure out the thread pitch of this bolt. Some people said you can pretty much just pull this out and it's the same thread. I'm gonna test that theory out and uh, see if it actually works. If it does, then that means I know what the thread pitch of this bolt is because they say online, nobody tells you what this thread pitch is though, which is kinda, that's what I need to know. So I think it's like a, I don't know, it kinda looks like a M22 or something and it's probably like 1.5 because it's like fine thread but yeah, I'm gonna impact that off really quick. Okay, so I am done messing with the Jay-Z for today. Just a short little video. Uh, I put some SolidWorks in there, a little bit of the 3D printing of this thing. I had to print it twice because it uh, came off the build surface. And then, uh, yeah, it looks like it'll work. I'm just gonna change a few little things on it. I am gonna make it have a shoulder and then make it maybe a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be as thick as it is. And then this bolt, I'm actually going to uh, bring it home. The thread pitch on this is the same as going into the oil cooler. So I'm going to put that into my design, that thread. And then I need to make sure the bolts are correct length. I just kind of guesstimated before. I mean, it like a little bit longer than the oil filter housing. So now I'll have it exactly the same, extend exactly the same as it did before. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a little one step closer to having a nice oil cooler set up. So I just need to probably order some parts for this thing. Yeah, that's gonna look so much better. Look at that compared to the stock oil cooler stuff going on over here. And that is, uh, gonna be a lot better. If you like the CAD and the SOLIDWORKS and the uh, 3D printing and the Jay-Z and just making stuff, uh, comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. And it's today's Sunday. So you guys got a whole week of daily uploads and I guess that's gonna be, I'm gonna try to make that the plan. So if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click that bell uh, so you get notifications when I post videos.